As an emergency medicine physician and representative of a large veteran population, I'm committed to ensuring our service members receive the highest quality health care possible. Over the years, I have been especially focused on making sure that veterans that have been exposed to toxic burn pits get the benefits and care that they need. I actually founded the Bipartisan uh, Burn Pits Caucus in Congress. Uh, burn pit exposure is this generation's Agent Orange, and it continues to threaten the health of service members and veterans, many of whom become severely sick permanently disabled or die from respiratory failure, cancers, and autoimmune diseases due to their burn pits exposures. I was introduced to the effects of burn pits when a constituent, Jennifer Kepner, a 39-year-old Air Force veteran with a healthy lifestyle and no other risk factors, came to my office for help. She was battling pancreatic cancer, which her oncologist determined was likely due to exposure to burn pits at Ballard Air Force Base in Iraq. She later died, leaving behind her husband and two young children and has been the inspiration behind my burn pits advocacy. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that this issue touches countless families around the country. In fact, President Biden has indicated numerous times that his son, Bo Biden's cancer may be related to his exposure to burn pits, also at Ballard Air Force Base during his 2009 service in the Iraq war. It's time to act, Mr. Secretary, and I hope you'll be a partner in taking urgent actions. Veterans in this country need advocates, not obstacles, when seeking the care they deserve. Secretary McDonough, in your testimony, you mentioned that you initiated an internal review of the VA's current process for establishing presumptive of service connections for veterans who may have been exposed to airborne hazards during their military service. Can you elaborate on what that review entails and your plans to work proactively with Congress to address exposure to, bur to burn pits and other toxic exposures? Yeah, thanks very much, Doc, and thank you for doing the vaccine work that you're doing. Um, the what I what I said is um, in the first meeting of the Veterans uh, Administration Executive Board on Tuesday afternoon, this was the topic: uh, burn pit uh, toxic exposure. Uh, we uh, agreed a number of things in that meeting. One is that we would be active rather than waiting for new uh, research. Uh, that means that we will uh, seek additional partners, including the National Institutes of Health and National Cancer Institute, uh, organizations like uh, the firefighters who are, have been exposed to the similar kinds of chemicals and may have access to research and science that will help us uh, in our deliberations. Uh, and this is on top of our own research out of VA and in coordination with DOD uh, to figure out precisely uh, what uh, our uh, vets and our active duty have been through. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And I would love to be a very involved, engaged partner in your decisions in creating the process for that. But just to be clear, you know, our veterans are dying right now. Uh, yes. And they cannot afford to wait decades for that perfect 20 year right. longitudinal double cohort study like Vietnam veterans were forced to with Agent Orange. In the next few weeks, I will introduce the presumptive benefits for war fighters exposed to burn pits and other toxins act uh, with uh, Senator Gillibrand. This bill will give veterans who develop respiratory diseases and cancers from toxic exposure the health coverage that they need and deserve by establishing a presumptive of service connection. And I look forward to continuing to work with you. We had a medical fellow in my office that did the literature review, identified the respiratory illnesses that have some association with burn pits. We also know that there's carcinogens in the smoke of burn pits, and therefore we have people dying of brain cancer, pancreatic cancer, gastric cancer, all kinds of cancer. This is different than Agent Orange because there's hundreds of toxic chemicals that can produce different array of illnesses. So um, getting a grasp of this and giving the veterans the care uh, and the benefits that they've earned and deserve is going to be life-saving. And I look forward to being a partner with you personally in uh, establishing this, this uh, process with the leadership of Chair Takano, who I understand is also very committed to this issue. Uh, so thank you, and I yield back. 